Seen from space, the Bushman Land Plateau shows little evidence of water, and those who live here are fatalistic in their reading of the signs. Some try calling up the elements, but nothing seems to work. There's been a shocking drought on the farm for seven years. It's brought farmers to their knees. Noticing the felt just getting more and more barren, less and less grass. So many farmers having to sell their sheep, sell their tractors, literally walking off their farm. Ik begin, ik het groot geraak as, as seen op die plaas en ek het kom een man raak op die plaas. En ek moet sê, ek het in my leven, het ek nie gedink dat ons so een erge droogte gaan beleef nie. Uh, Specifiek die area wat ons nou inrijd, was een area wat gras, hoesman gras, gestaan in, in waaie. So die laaste vijf, zes jaar, bitter, bitter man. There was no grazing, no real sight or hope for anything different, but worried. Here's this project we're going to start, and there's nothing to eat. Veronica's first flock of sheep arrived when she bought them from a neighbour who could no longer afford to feed them. Despite her family history, Veronica is not a farmer, at least not yet. I've been coming to the farm all my life. My father grew up here, his father grew up here, and his great-grandfather started here. So there's a very deep soul connection on the farm for all of us. And if there's any way, I've always loved the land, and if there's any way we can restore the land, then I will achieve what I want to achieve. Veronica and her husband, Charles, brought the farm into their immediate family five years ago. But unexpectedly, things changed. I lost my husband four years ago. He died of a heart attack. He loved the farm as much as we do. I'm not sure what kind of farming we would have done here but we were all absolutely convinced that we did not want to see electric fences running the perimeter of the farm to prevent the jackal from coming in and then killing tortoises by the way because if they were too big to go under the fence, they would just be burnt. My ambition was to try and find a way of farming that could protect the jackal, the tortoise and everything else that was being affected by the type of farming that concentrates particularly on sheep. Her partners in the project are the people who work for her, 
the Matei's family, Johnny, his wife Nancy, and their sons Julian and Ruan. Veronica and Johnny were born in the same year. Ja, das ist in den 60er geboren. Und ich habe das mal vorher, um Veronika, seine Oma und Opa zu kennen. Die lässt die Schule morgen aufgehen. Und Veronika, seine Opa, für uns die Schule zu fahren. Und nach Oma gehen wir auch ungefähr, wie viele Kinder sie uns ist. Jelke Kind gehen sie die Sache, die ihr zu geben will, um bei uns zu kriegen. Generations of Johnny's family also grew up on this farm. Veronica and he might have played together as children, but their relationship was determined by a device of history. Bushman Land's human history is etched into its rocks. The engravings found here record the time long before the arrival of white settlers, a time when migrations of animals crossed the plains, sustained and in turn sustaining diverse vegetation. Nruha's farm is a rich repository of these rock engravings that date back more than 20,000 years. Johnny Matesa's early forebears hunted here until they in turn were hunted, imprisoned and forced into servitude. It's a legacy that still lingers. Farmers, and if they bring managers in, they'll bring somebody experienced, male, white. Mm -hmm. It's a farming area that's entrenched in its ways. So it's a new opportunity, it's a new way of thinking. But here there is some change. Johnny's son, Julian, is the newly appointed farm manager of this farm. Ik mezelf was nog de derde generatie op die grond. Mijn opa was hier, mijn pa is nog samen met mij hier en ik is hier. Zo ik dank uh, mijn achtergrond zelf en mijn kennis is wat mij die voorsprong gegeven op die plaatsen en wat vandaag maken dat ik kan een bestuurder op die grond is. Veronica is hier met nieuwe ideeën gekomen en ons voelt dat kan werken. Als ons vraag je help daarmee, kan dat werken. En we zien allemaal in om daarmee te beginnen. Traditionally, farmers have left livestock out grazing the same area for weeks at a time. This has destroyed the land and increased the devastation of drought. Veronica plans to manage her sheep differently. The sheep will stay on a particular piece of land, maybe for three days, and be moved and moved throughout the farm, and hopefully each piece of land gets rested for at least a year. And in that process, the land will have been trampled, grazed, litter will form, it will allow the soil to re restore itself, and when the rains do fall in the future, that water is retained on the farm. And the pink and the wet, and I say for them to be still, and I will dare that step. And as it so has made, and now I see what the print is for my betekenis. The dream to restore the land will pivot around the shepherd, one of the oldest occupations in the world, and often the most undervalued. It is something new to Johnny Mateus, who has spent a lifetime farming in the old way. Die manier waarop Veronica nou gaan doen om je gras terecht te doen, dat zal net bonus van het werk, dat zal die grond ook terecht doen. Voor een paar maanden ga ik die twee jongens te zien zelf om een succes te maken van hier, een nieuwe methode van boerderij. Ik denk dat dat is haalbaar, aangezien het om 24 uur per dag met die schaap bezig is. We kunnen gewoon achterkomen wanneer er ziek dier is. Ons kan die schade van die roofdieren beperken of helemaal iets niet. The break in South Africa's COVID lockdown provides an opportunity to begin the first steps towards regenerative farming. 
Veronica has invited a number of community farmers and scientists to help plot a way forward. First up is ecologist Janine McManus, who offers a new way of dealing with predators. Sheep losses to jackal are high in the area, and farmers often hunt them. So when we started this thing, there was a lot of the boers that said, they can't have more boers with their roof. And so this was so a big problem for them, that they had to use a lot of the time methods, such so as the stag-eisters, or to go to a bigger scale. A lot of those methods is actually very bad for the wild nature. As you then now need actually to your fear, um, focus, in place of your roof, you're going to be able to fall in your face. So this is what else you can do. From the get-go, we're doing predator-friendly farming. We will not shoot jackal on this farm. And if we can allow the jackal to run freely and the bat-eared fox to be safe and the tortoises to carry on with their lives, the breeding program of all those animals to be allowed because they're no fences, that is a long, long-term objective. The gathering also signals an opportunity to celebrate. Janine is about to demonstrate how to monitor any changes to the land over time. So it's kind of your net is what that's pretty Yeah, for this month. Okay. Exclusion zones are paced out to measure future change. In these zones, smaller one meter square sites are randomly selected to evaluate the vegetation index. Bare ground shows damaged land. So we're going to start with how much bare ground there is in a percentage fashion. So I just want to say, okay, so it is in by in meter. I say net so few, I say so few, and so and so and so back by scale. on another part of the farm, an agricultural scientist is taking stock of the impact of the drought. The whole of the interior Karoo and up here even to the north has experienced a very severe drought. It lasted for several years, but it seemed to end in a particularly dry spell. The last time I think it was looking like this would have been about 50 years ago. After a drought, once the rains have come, that's the key time to, to have a management intervention that can um, increase the chance of that felt being able to, to recover. And that would be to remove livestock while those little seedlings are growing and while those plants that did manage to survive can now put out a few little leaves, get a bit of sunlight, start their carbohydrate assimilation and so on. What you're wanting to do is give the landscape the best possible opportunity to recover to what it sort of should be. As the hot summer peaks, the wind backs to the northwest and carries a faint but distant rumor of rain. The tekens is weer baie beloof vir die reen seisoen. Ons gewaar die skilpaie loop, die kogelmanners 
Simmons Bavir. Een ander plaats een naar een minorie, daar is hij op, op zijn plaats is bij een springbok. Hij zei van mij, ze hebben die geloen, hoe bij een lammertje is aangekomen. Nou, ons aanvaard dit is een goede teken van groeder voor hier hier in zijn zoon. Als we ons zijn afwachten, die kunnen ze daar en ons weet wat die veld oplevert. Is it